The day Bob Gainey announced he was leaving the Canadians, Larry Robinson was sure he was staying. But that was until a visit to Los Angeles and a talk and, with uh, King's owner, Bruce McNall. Just speaking to him and, uh, and asking him questions and his response and, and what they thought of me and what they wanted and naturally the longevity of the contract. Um, I came out of there with a, you know, a whole new outlook on, on my situation. That new outlook was a result of McNall's deal, a two-year contract with an option worth a reported one and a half million dollars, a longer and richer package than Canadians general manager Sarah Savard was prepared to offer. Robinson says the writing was on the wall even before the end of the season. I felt that, you know, my importance here wasn't as what it used to be, and. Um, you know, it's hard, you know, from going from, you know, playing a lot and, and being in all the key situations to uh, just being out there in, in certain situations. Robinson doesn't blame Pat Burns for that. He says Burns made last season an enjoyable one. He does resent charges. The retiring of his number was an issue in contract talks. He says it isn't true. The move to the Kings, he says, is a fresh challenge to meet, coming near the end of a career full of challenges already met. But 17 seasons in Montreal won't be easy to forget. You know, it's a career move for me, but um, I don't think it's a, it's a lifelong move. I, I could be wrong, because <laughs> I was wrong about my playing here. So, But um, I love the place here, and I love the people, and I love the fans.